it restores. If you have one of these type of carbs with a, it's actually got a brass fitting right here, brass seat. Doesn't use a, um, doesn't use a uh, rubber seat in there. And the tip of the needle is one like this. Little rubber tip on it. How that seals is it goes in here. Goes down in here. Basically like that. So it does have to move in here up and down. On that uh, brass jet so if there's anything that makes it bind in there could have a problem also to the bottom is where it has to seal so um, I'm gonna put this in the ultrasonic to clean it but before I do that if you look down in there you know it may seem like it doesn't really look dirty but the very bottom right there is where the seal is so I have clean carbs like this before ultrasonically put them back together and then they wouldn't seal they would end up flooding so I had to go back in and clean this now I've seen this on other videos I don't take credit for figuring this out but basically you know, some type of metal polish, or that this is actually a, you know, an idle buffing compound. Get this on a little Q-tip, and then go down in here. You could probably either do it by hand if it's not too bad, or there's the drill method. I'll show you how to do that. But, you know, this is nice and clean, and we'll see what it looks like, you know, when we get it in there. Okay, so just basically cut a Q-tip and put it on a drill tip. Okay. And we're just going to feed it down into that jet. Now it won't go in at first uh, until it kind of, it'll actually kind of seat itself in there. That's what that looks like when it comes out even though it looked pretty clean in the beginning to go in there I'm gonna run another one in there all I really did was cut a q-tip like this can't seem to find the other half but It's basically cut it in half. And this one I'll just do by hand. Getting pretty dirty. I could put a maybe a carb clean or something in here, but I'm gonna do this in my ultrasonic anyway, so
kind of see down in there but basically you know for not looking too bad you know this is what it looked like when it went through that tarnish and everything coming out of there so you want that to be nice and clean and also this needle tip also should be cleaned I would say you can almost see a little ring that could just be a wear mark from where that thing's been sitting but I wouldn't really hit this with harsh cleaners I just maybe a little carb clean on a little paper towel and just rub it just to get it cleaned up so that's it as far as that goes cleaning out these brass jets brass seats rather um, the only other thing would be that you'd want to get all that, any of that compound out of there. So you could spray a carb cleaner. Like I said, I'm going to put this into the ultrasonic anyway. So, okay. Uh, I'll be doing a follow-up on this because this is an aftermarket carb. And it does use this brass jet, and, and, unlike the original. But anyway, so that's just a quick tip here. If you're having a ceiling problem with one of these type of carbs and you're getting flooding could be that so I'm, the only other thing could be is if your float is bad but you can test your float out uh, put it in some water see if it floats and see if there's any water that's getting into it all right hope that helps you out